Group G, Brazil, top-ranked team in the world. This team has a bit of everything, don't they? The five-time champs are the odds-on favorite to win it all again. Serbia, the 21st-ranked team in the world. They were in Brazil's group in 2018, lost to Brazil 2-0 in their final group match. Switzerland, they've been sneaky good as of late. They won their qualifying group, which featured Italy. Uh, They beat France in the Euros, lost to Spain in the quarterfinals on pens. This is their first fifth straight World Cup for the Swiss as well. And Cameroon, you, man, this could go very well or very bad. Flip a coin. I'm going to side with bad. They're the 43rd ranked team in the world. Um, there's an unpredictability to the group, which makes them an intriguing side. Uh, Brazil minus 286 to win the group, plus 609 for Serbia, plus 609 for Switzerland, and plus 2535 for Cameroon. Simon, we'll start with you. Brazil. Are they rightfully the favourites to go on and win the World Cup this time around? Um, I think they're definitely right to be up there. Um, The thing about what's so impressive with this Brazilian side is the control that they have. Um, Whereas Argentina, you know, I'm a bit concerned about Otamendi, whatever. Um, I think think Brazil's... Because Brazil, what they tend, tend to do over the last couple of years is score, let the opposition throw a few things at them and then just hit them on the counter and win three, you know, three or four nil in the last 20 minutes. It's not a Brazilian side for all the attacking flair that they have. The key to their success is the control that they have in defense. Casemiro in front. They're really, really solid. Now, obviously the question is what happens when they face European opposition? What happens when they have a different threat? Because I think while Argentina and Brazil have been brilliant and I I really liked Ecuador and Uruguay have a high ceiling. We'll talk about them in a minute. South American qualifying hasn't been as good as it has in previous tournaments in, in the last few years. So the question is, you know, when they face top European opposition, will they still have that same control? What happens when they get hit? <laughs> what happens when things go wrong? Because nothing's gone wrong for four years. So that's going to be a, a question they have to answer. But what they have is, is a really, really strong defence. They have um, Casemiro in front shielding. They have a lot of attacking flair, an incredible variety of creativity, speed, dribbling. You know, the, the question is, what do they do in the centre four position? Um, they've wanted to play as a, a set nine. Richarlison's done well in that position. Gabriel Jesus is in the squad. So there's potentially still a slight question there. Um, but um, yeah, this Brazil side is very, very impressive. You know, I, I like I like Switzerland, I like Serbia, but I, I do think um, Brazil will uh, exercise their control, will show their control that they have in this group and will make it look easy, although I don't think it is that easy. I do see Brazil getting out of this one quite comfortably, but I do like, for example, Serbia, um, Vlahovic, Mitrovic, uh, Tadic, Milenkovic, Savic, <laughs> all really, really good players. So I'm looking forward to seeing the Serbia side. And I think the Serbia team can impress but I think they'll be stifled by this Brazil because that's what Brazil do. Uh, Serbia to advance from the group at plus 108 on pinnacle, Switzerland plus 101. Xhaka and Freuler, like two holding midfielders, they're they're both on great form and they've done really well for Switzerland. But like Simon said, Vlavic and Mitrovic up top, like playing with two strikers and two informed strikers as well is a dangerous proposition. Andrew, what, what do you make? I mean, I think we're all on the same page, Brazil to win the group, but Serbia or Switzerland, d- does Cameroon come into the equation for you, Andrew? No, I don't think so. I think it's a shootout between the two um, European teams. I think, I'm not sure which way to go on this one, but I was thinking Switzerland are a little bit like the European version of, of Mexico, a, a phrase nobody has ever uttered, probably. But but they're very good at grinding through the through the group stage before going out in the first knockout round. It's something they seem to they seem to excel at. And actually, when you look at the 2018 World Cup, Brazil, Switzerland, and Serbia were all in the same group uh, that time as well. And um, Switzerland beat Serbia with a 90th minute goal. It could be equally sort of close this time around as well. Um, so I think probably um, I'll, I would go for Switzerland with Brazil. Um, in the Group G dual forecast at plus 136. But it's very difficult to split them and and Serbia. And I I think Cameroon are going to be bottom of this one. Jake? Yeah, yeah, I I tend to agree. I think Serbia have got the potential to be really exciting at this World Cup. I think 
Um, you know, Simon mentioned some of the players there. They, they've got such good attacking threat um, all over the pitch, really. You know, the wing backs are excellent as well and create plenty. So they, they could be really interesting to watch. Um, but yeah, I, it's hard to look past Brazil to win the group. I mean, their defensive record in South American qualifying was unbelievable from an underlying data perspective. Um, we had them at 0.44 expected goals against per game, which is just obscene to, to basically just not concede any chances of note whatsoever um, on a per game basis is, is just remarkably impressive. And if they carry that kind of form into this tournament, then you know we can expect them to go really, really far and, and make it look really easy as well. Um, yeah, I'm, like Andrew, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the two European teams. I think Cameroon are going to find this very difficult. Watching them in Afcon, they were wide open defensively, but you know they played and won quite a few high scoring games. I think if the games go the same way in this group, they'll get picked off because I think there's better opponents. Um but I'm siding with Switzerland to 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 best Serbia. I think that that experience that they've got um could count for quite a lot when it gets to the you know the nail biting end of the group stage. Um Serbia they they arguably have a better better team on paper, but I think Switzerland are probably just a slightly better unit there are really trending in a positive direction. And, um, you know, we, we saw the success they had at the Euros in terms of knocking France out when it looked like all was lost. They somehow managed to score a couple of goals and and, and progress. Um, so, yeah, I definitely will be siding with Switzerland. And I think Brazil, Switzerland, um, dual forecast is is the play for me. Uh, just quickly, Cameroon lost to Uzbekistan, lost to South Korea, draw Jamaica. That's not the way you want to go into a World Cup. And the last game of the group is Switzerland, Serbia. So we'll see. Circle that one. Should be very watchable.